Burlington, Ontario was voted the best community in Canada by McLean's Magazine. And in this video, I go through the top six highest ranking neighborhoods in Burlington, Ontario to move to. I'll take you on a neighborhood tour so that you see the homes up close and personal. And we'll zone in on things like what the neighbors are like, shopping and amenities nearby. Also that you get a really good feel for what it's actually like to live in Burlington, Ontario. And we'll get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything that there is to know about living in Toronto and the surrounding areas like right here in Burlington, then hit that subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications so that you know everything that you need to know before making that move to Toronto. My name is Rochelle, I'm a local real estate agent right here in Burlington and the surrounding greater Toronto area. For the last seven years, I've been helping people just like you and you and you and you and you make the move to Toronto and the surrounding suburbs across the greater Toronto area and I love it. And so if you are looking to make that move, then give me a shout. I'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to Toronto, Ontario. But today we're focusing on Burlington, Ontario, a Toronto suburb just about 40 kilometers west of the city, known for its low crime rate, great employment opportunities, and a nice community feel. And the first neighborhood on our top six list gets visitors from all across the province coming to check it out. It's been featured in the news year after year after year. Why? Well, come with me and let's find out. things about this neighborhood and I do want to tell you why this area is consistently being um, toured by Torontonians across Ontario but first I want to paint a picture of what it's actually like to live here because first of all you're actually right next to Lake Ontario so that's a huge plus and then the homes here are stunning honestly this area is known for its grandeur because you've got these gorgeous stately century homes on large private lots with immaculately kept gardens and so this is a very affluent community your neighbors are likely going to be young professional families or old retirees but as you know, beauty doesn't come cheap. And so the average price of a home here in this neighborhood is $1.57 million, which actually makes it the third most expensive neighborhood in Burlington. But if price isn't an issue for you, then this would likely be the best place for you. For sale on the market right now, this neighborhood is this amazing showstopper listed at $4.2 million. This house has five plus one bedrooms, two baths, there's parking for 13 cars. It has beautiful views of Lake Ontario and it has that kind of, or the kind of finishes that you would expect from a home at this price point. So you've got Calcutta marble backsplash in the kitchen, for example, and counters, Brazilian and hand scraped walnut flooring, and even an in-ground pool in the back with saline water. So again, this is the type of top quality home that you can find here in Roseland. But hop in my car and let me give you a quick tour of the rest of this stunningly beautiful neighborhood. I'm happy to show you around. Let's go. This is one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in Toronto and there's actually a really special home here that gets featured in the news, social media, everywhere, every year during Christmas. The Musson family, every holiday season, they put on this extremely elaborate, festive display of Christmas lights. It is such a fun attraction and really brings the community together. And so this neighborhood stands out as having a really strong sense of community. Now, sometimes you do have wonderful neighbors who you enjoy spending time with, have a drink together, their kids come over to hang out, but more often than not, you'll want some privacy. And this neighborhood, which is number two on our list, can do that for you. You can see that homes in this area have large homes on even bigger lots. Yards in the front are plentiful, and even in the back, it's common to see pools, extensive landscaping, and well-maintained gardens. And so this area is perfect for people who want space. People who move here are drawn to homes that have higher than average square footage, 
double car garages. This is a more prestigious community where the average price of a home here being closer to the $2 million mark. This home, for example, is currently listed at $2.8 million. It has four plus two bedrooms, five washrooms, about three to 3,500 square feet and offers a really unique backyard. It actually has a fish pond and a fully powered workstation. So great home for buyers who are moving up and appreciate these small touches. But come with me to my favorite bar here in Millcroft, which is in one of the most popular shopping plazas in Burlington. And I'm going to give you a quick breakdown on why you'd want to move to this neighborhood even more. I'm here in front of Beer Town Public House, which is a popular restaurant here in town. And then behind me is one of my favorite gyms, Mobody. It's new, clean and modern. And you've got a ton of ethnic restaurants in the area as well. You can see Japanese, Indian, Italian, everything to get your labor on. You know, this neighborhood is pretty much one of the more livelier parts of town. And in this neighborhood itself, Millcroft, it is a more established part of town. They have these nice antique looking street lights that sort of give a luxurious slash Pleasantville look to the area. And even though the neighborhood does have a somewhat vintage feel, the homes here are not old. Most of the properties in Millcroft were built in the 90s and early 2000s. And so they are pretty up to date and move in ready. You are going to find some homes that, you know, could use a facelift, but the overall feel of the area is charming and nice. And also Millcroft's golf course that is right smack dab in the middle of this neighborhood. A lot of the homes here actually back onto the fairways. And so you do get that sense of prestige being here. Plus, there are some really notable top quality schools in the neighborhood, which add to this neighborhood's more upscale reputation. Welcome to Longmore. Most of the homes here were built in the 60s and 70s. And so you'll find a lot of people here who have renovated their homes just to make them more up to date and modern. And so this home that I'm approaching is a perfect example of that. It's listed at $1.499 million. And this no home is noted as being between 50 and 99 years old. We don't have the exact year it was built, but similar to the rest of the homes in this area, you can expect that this one would have likely been built in the last 40 or 50 years or so. But you can see that it has a nicely updated look to the exterior. You've got these black siding and the black framed bay window at the front. And then the interior has been modernized too. It has an open concept main floor that has a custom kitchen with center island, coarse countertops, and floor to ceiling cabinets. And so altogether, a nicely designed space with good attention to detail. Now we are in a very family oriented neighborhood with Nelson Park, for example, that is just a few minutes up the road. They have a huge outdoor pool and water park for kids that actually has one of those uh, big buckets that fill up at the top and then just drops on all the kids. And so everyone really loves that. Um, they have tobogganing in the winter, skateboard ramps and uh, even small dirt bike hills. And then there's Centennial Bikeway. That's a long stretch of trail that runs through this neighborhood too. You'll often see families going for a walk here um, or people just jogging, cycling, walking their strollers because actually most of it is paved and it's generally considered um, a safer route. Here in Longmore, you'll notice winding, tree-lined streets, with modest size homes most are bungalows but you do have a few two-story detached homes semis and towns thrown into the mix as well location wise we are very central burlington center is a uh, quaint neighborhood mall nearby that doesn't have too many of your big brand stores but they do have an indigo shoppers the bay home sense and winners but they've actually done a lot of nice renos recently you know the place is always clean the layout is very simple and so it's easy to get around and just you know pick up groceries take out and uh fun fact they actually have the only taco bell in all of burlington <laughs> and then the burloke rio can center that is a really cool um shopping center as well they have your typical big box stores like home depot dollarama and even nike and old navy and a cineplex theater are all part of the complex
love the sound of kids playing on your front doorstep, then this neighborhood is the one for you. It is the epitome of family-friendly neighborhoods where you actually know who your neighbors are and call them by name. There are actually five elementary schools in this neighborhood alone, and so you don't have to take the bus or drive. Your kids could just walk to school. And there are tons of outdoor activities for families here as well. Bronte Creek Provincial Park, for example, that's just next door, where you've got hiking trails, a barn, an outdoor pool, and there is a strong sense of community here as well. They have a uh, neighborhood Facebook page where you can actually buy and sell things to your neighbors. So that's really fun. And then speaking of neighbors, these homes here could actually be your neighbors because this home right here is one of the newest listings to come on the market, currently sitting at $1.199 million. And I do not think that this house is gonna last long because it shows very well. It's three bed, three bath. It's been fully renovated from top to bottom. Bright, open new kitchen with center island, built-in stove, built-in wine cabinet. And the basement is fully finished with a kitchenette, bedroom, and full-out bathroom. So perfect as a nanny or in-law suite. And again, this house, just like the neighborhood, is catered to families. Most of the homes here in Orchard are detached with double car garages. You will find a few streets with semis, single car garages here and there, but generally you're looking at single family homes. Most of the houses you'll see are either brick or siding, and so they have either a classic colonial or Cape Cod look to them. Definitely a lot of porches here too, which add to the community feel. Um, here I mentioned where, you know, neighbors will pop by for a quick chat at your front door, and it's easy to get around here too. If you need to commute, you're just a few minutes away from the Highway 403, the 407, and even the Appleby GO station, where you can take the train or bus outside of Burlington to larger cities like Toronto or Hamilton. The number five neighborhood on our top six list is Dines. Dines is one of Burlington's most affordable neighborhoods where the average price of a home here is $999,000. So technically you are under the million dollar mark, which is rare for Toronto. And because of this, we're definitely seeing an influx of investors coming into the neighborhood because you will find a lot of fixer uppers here. For example, this home, is listed at 1.7 million dollars and although i haven't seen it for myself on the inside from the pictures it does look like a possible fixer upper things like fresh new white paint to brighten up the walls in the space newer light fixtures opening up the galley kitchen that they have and just you know adding in maybe new appliances and cabinetry I do believe that there is a lot of opportunity here for this home to reach its optimal potential. And I do personally think that this neighborhood in general is a great place to invest in. So Dines is one of the most affordable neighborhoods in Burlington, like I mentioned earlier, but it sits directly next to two of the most expensive ones. So you can easily just extend your walk onto the streets of Roseland, for example. That was the first neighborhood that I took you through and just take in the sights of all of those nice looking homes next door. It's like what they always say, you know, investing 101, buy the worst house in the best neighborhood. And full disclaimer, I'm not saying that this is the worst or by any means a bad neighborhood. I'm just saying that this is one of Burlington's most, um, you know, relatively affordable neighborhoods sandwiched between two of its most expensive ones. So if you do the math, this area has a lot of potential to go up in value, which is why it's a great investment area. And if you are looking to move here yourself, then great. Dines is home to a local farmer's market in the summer weekends that has a cool hipster vibe to it. And location wise, you are close to everything because you're pretty much right in the middle of Burlington. You can walk to restaurants, local shops and grocery stores, and even the waterfront since you are right next to Lake Ontario. Okay guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. So this neighborhood is a hidden gem. It's the number six spot on our top six list. It's called Palmer. And the reason why I love it is because in this neighborhood, you get both beautiful and affordable. This home, for example, is currently listed for $940,000. It's three beds, three baths. And from the outside, you can already see it has great curb appeal, 
a nicely manicured lawn on a clean residential street where there is a good sense of pride of ownership. You can see that this home is a large end unit townhouse, but with over 1,570 square feet of interior space, it almost feels like a semi-detached. You'll notice that homes in this neighborhood, the houses are set back from the street and that gives you so much more space. And then take a look at how spaced apart and neatly spaced apart, I should add, these houses are from each other. You're on a good sized lot, which gives you even more privacy. And then the mature trees, they're all lining all of these streets. And altogether, this is just a great place to raise a family, be part of a nice looking community and not have to break the bank trying to get a house here. So there you have it. Those are your top six neighborhoods that people are moving to in Burlington. And hopefully that gave you a good idea of what the neighborhoods are like, nearby amenities, and you get a better picture of how, how far your budget can take you and what areas might be a good fit for you and your family. And so if you are considering moving to the area, whether it is along the water, if you're upsizing, you're a first time home buyer or a seasoned investor, just give me a shout and I would love to help you out. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even schedule a Zoom call and I can walk you through different parts of Burlington more in depth, set you up on some property tours in person, just really help you catch a deal on your next home in Burlington. And in the meantime, don't forget to like this video and give me a thumbs up because it does help me to continue to help people just like you make that smooth move to Toronto. And also check out this video, which rhymes off all of the pros and cons of actually living in Burlington. As beautiful as this town is, there definitely are some negative aspects about it that you want to know about, especially if you're considering moving here. And so you definitely want to check that one out. But until then, thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe and I will see you around town.